some of my best quilting ideas come when I'm on vacation. And my husband and I were in Vancouver last year and saw a, it wasn't really a painting, it was more of a metal sculpture in a gallery. And it was long and narrow and it kind of, it had fish just kind of sliding down these lines. And that's all it was, was just fish and lines. And I thought you could do so many cool things with something that simple. So I started with a small drawing. I drew a few lines, a few fish, but I sort of got carried away with feathered seaweed because I thought that you could do a lot of varieties of feather to make the seaweed in a piece like this. So the first thing I did after I got home and, and I took out this sketch is I took a roll of gift wrap. Most of you probably have drawing paper, but I didn't. So I used the back of gift wrap, taped it together, drew my lines, put some fish, and started playing with different styles of feathers. So you can see a more classic feather down here, kind of a swirled feather here. Here's a feather with a swirl in the middle of it. And I started working with this and then I started putting it on fabric. So I chose a hand dyed fabric and drew out some more of the seaweed and I've stitched some of it. I've stitched that one at the bottom, although I still want to put something in the middle. And I've stitched up the swirly one and stitched this one with the pearls. So I'm having fun with the seaweed. But I've got a big space here and I've got a pretty big space here and I was trying to think, how am I going to fill those spaces? Well, recently I did an an episode of a show and I was using a number of thread weights and feathers in the same episode. I used a Mettler metallic thread for the spine of my feathers. Now when I'm using threads and picking thread weights, I'm thinking what do I want to be most dominant and I work from the dominant to the least noticeable. So this metallic thread was the most noticeable here. I went up and down the spine several times. That's what I'm going to call the bones of my piece. This is what we're building on. The next thread I used was a Mettler 50 weight um, silk finish cotton and that's the one that I did the freehand feathers with. Those are the muscles of my piece. They're the next most dominant. The third thread I used was a variegated silk finish, also by Mettler, and that's when I did the little accent marks. This is makeup. This is the good stuff that makes everything else pop. Then the lightest thread, this is a 60 weight Mettler, very lightweight thread in a light color so that I could just echo it around. That pops this up. I have wool batting in this piece. So that pops this quilting up so that it really does look like I've done something fancy, like stuck an extra layer of batting in there when all I did was echo with this very fine thread. To do this, I used two bobbin colors. I used the pale for the lightest and I used the darker one for all the other work, for the bones and the muscles. So I thought, why couldn't I apply this to the seaweed for my piece? So first I made a couple of drawings. Then I chose a few shades of Mettler thread that I really, really like, and I made my seaweed. I love this. So we've got bones, we've got muscles, plenty of makeup on this one. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with this today.